So we're working on another sexy black truck. And this one has got a misfire on cylinder five. I tested the coil pack. I verified that it had spark. I pulled the spark plugs out and I verified that they weren't leaking. I actually used my Subaru to do that. And then I did a compression test because I ran out of stuff and I had fuel going to the cylinder. And when I did the compression test, Cylinder 5, which is the middle one on the driver's side on this car, because you've got, um, I forget the numbers. It goes 4, Cylinder 4 over here, Cylinder 5, Cylinder 6. So what I did is I used a ratchet, and the owner of the truck, did I just say I just used you, Matt? He did. <laughs> I put a socket onto the crank pulley, and from there... Uh, I had the spark plug out and then what I do is I take a screwdriver and I put it down the spark plug hole and I tap, I keep it moving so it doesn't have a chance to bind on the spark plug threads on the cylinder head and jack them up because it's at an angle. I just tap it and I feel when Matt's cranking it till that didn't sound good either. Until it goes to the top, when that piston's at the highest point, your valves will be closed. And the reason why that they're closed is because it's about to explode. You know, it compresses all of your air fuel mixture up to the top, up to the spark plug, and then it goes bang, and it pushes it down. So it's got to be a closed cylinder, a closed jar, like, if you will. So anyway, that's what we do, and we make sure that everything uh, is at the top. And then I use my compression tester hose and I put the compression tester hose into the cylinder and then I hook my air compressor to it. Once my air compressor is hooked to it, then I can see where the leak is in the cylinder. In this case, it's the intake valves because we've got a bunch, it smells like gas, it, you know, and it's blowing out through the intake. So, and we go back here and we check the exhaust and there's nothing. We don't hear anything, we don't smell anything, uh, we don't have any detection of anything. So apparently one of the intake valves is not closing or something's wrong with the cylinder head to where it's not seating properly. So now we know why cylinder five is misfiring and we knew that because we got P0305, uh, cylinder five misfire on the treble codes. So anyway, this is how we diagnose it. That's not what we'd like to find. I'd rather have it be like, you know, like a cracked porcelain on the spark plug. You know, maybe a big heavy black line down the side. I like those because then you just change a plug. It's easy. As it is, we're going to have to pull the valve cover. And to pull the valve cover, we've got to pull all this mess. And then once we pull all that off, we'll look, and I'll specifically look at the intake valves. They'll be the ones on this side toward the intake manifold and uh, look and see if one of them's bent or if it's not closing all the way because it's not making any engine noise so I'm thinking it's just not seating properly so I'm gonna have to pull this uh, the cylinder head on this side and do a valve job.